Okay, so um, this, is, this is what we're going to use next. It's the Pale Burnt Metal, Orclad 2. So I've just given that a really good mix and let's get that into the airbrush. It's not too much in there. I'll get my fingers uh, off the surface if we can. So really the point here is just to try and create a bit more of this sort of hydraulic -y type staining that you get, you get in these B17s around the cows. Just try and do it aft of the cow flaps. Just generally sort of just staining a bit more. So I don't know whether you can see that uh, or not. It's very hard in this light. Hopefully you can. And there's more grubbiness to go on yet, but it's just uh, just beginning to kind of build that up a little bit. running it back a little bit on the engines. So there we are. Um, so in terms of the pale burnt metal, that's that's kind of enough I think for the upper surfaces. So hopefully you can pick that up on the uh, on the film. So I say it's not um, it's not excessive at all. It's just about trying to change and now vary and mix up the different metallic tones and the staining and all the rest of it that, that you get on the uh, on these aircraft, so that ultimately you get something that looks uh, looks more realistic. So I'm going to get um, a little bit more. Um, I think of the exhaust staining on the underneath. I think we may need to make that a little bit more pronounced, not massively, but a bit more. To build onto the brown in effect we've got for the pale burnt metal so i'm going to use um a jet exhaust i think it's called that is quite dark so i'm going to be really subtle with with how i spray it not 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 going too mad so uh, we'll get that out next and see if we can just build up a little bit more of the the markings on the underside that you get directly from those exhausts <laughs> 